having a trade idea in place, the next thing that we have to be able to do is enter on it. And this is very hard. And this is the most frustrating things for traders. This is what causes a lot of traders to keep jumping around different methods because they just can't ever seem to get something working. And a lot of times they might have some type of an edge, but they just can't get it because they can't get the timing right. And they're needlessly just getting very chopped out. This is a skill that should be worked at. And if you're frustrated with feeling like you're getting chopped out of the market a lot or feeling and maybe knowing that you're getting some bad entries or sloppy entries, just understand and appreciate the fact that it should, it, it's difficult and it's okay if this is causing you a lot of frustrations, but this is a skill to work at. This is something to build upon. And I would suggest as a process to have in place for this, just a clear understanding that you can only do two things really when you're entering the market. You're either going to be entering on momentum or you're going to be entering on some type of a, a pullback. And what I think is incredibly more beneficial to do is to enter on pullbacks, pullbacks on lower volume. And I should actually, let me go back to the screens here if I still have these pulled up. Looking at something like this, just clean this up for a second. Let's say you're trying to get long at the open here. When we push through that level, okay, entering in on that momentum, or in a case like this where we pull back and the volume starts dropping off, right? These are, you know, broadly, let's say the, the two ways that you can enter the market. And it would be important to know what you are what you need to see happen when the market gives you an entry because this is the process that's going to go through you're going to have a trade idea but just because you see the trade idea doesn't mean you have the entry yet the price action has to set up your idea it has to give you the entry and if you don't have anything in place for this okay it's going to be impossible to make sure you're getting accurate entries it's my opinion that entering on momentum is extremely difficult and the reason that it's difficult it might be actually a little easier on a product like the NQ or crude oil products that are a bit thinner and move faster, but a product like the S&P is extremely rotational. And if you're trading a product that rotates a lot, um, the markets just move. They, they have ebbs, they have flows. And if you are entering on pullbacks, the likelihood that you're at least getting a good spot in the rotation is, is way high. If you're entering on momentum, there's very little that separates a good momentum entry from just getting in at a horrible spot in the action and, and on the rotation. And so something to consider if you feel like you're struggling with your entries is instead of just entering it on the market or instead of um, waiting and hesitating and you know maybe under the, the guise that you're getting in on, on momentum and maybe you're just hesitating and getting a bad spot on the trade, but letting the, the level that you want to get in and what you're seeing happen, let the action pull back and let that pullback happen on lower volume. When you can see the action pull back to a level you want to enter on and the volume starts dropping off, um, this is beautiful. And this can, let, this can lend itself to being some of the highest quality entries that you could take, um, in, my, in my opinion, or at least getting the most accurate entries. So there's, there's many ways that we can enter the market. The point being here that you have to have, or you should have, some type of a process in place for this. And as a starting place, at least, something to focus on, getting good at entering on pullbacks, for your trade ideas can be um, a, a real game changer. It, it is for me, and this is primarily what I look to do, uh, you know, even through to this day. Okay.